Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, this is Dave Show. W- welcome, welcome again. Tonight we are doing a podcast. How do you like me you now, eh? But anyway, I'm, I just feel my best, my best, my volume is pretty, pretty out there. I just want to say, this is great. I, I'm just glad you guys are still listening to my podcast. This is truly, truly the day, as I would say, the day to give you the best information out there in the world today. It's not because of God, it's not because of the church. You can pray anywhere you want. Uh, you don't have to go to church, you don't have to go anywhere. You can pray, you can do a prayer anywhere, anywhere. God will he- uh, hear you. Trust me, God will hear you. About this Donald Trump and uh, Biden thing, well, we don't know. Uh, there was a tell book, I mentioned it the last time, a tell book about to come out, or is out there, uh, today they mentioned about the book again today. Um, this is a tell book, and I mentioned on a previous podcast, a tell book that Donald Trump, a lot of uh, uh, four E's uh, on the book, uh, tells you uh, about how Trump, Donald Trump got into politics the way he is today. Uh, people have their opinion about him, the President of the United States, yes, the President, the current President of the United States. But listen, we have an election coming up. Well, in Canada, we can't vote for the American stuff on the elections, but we sure can make our voices known. We can't just go to the United States and vote, because we're truly Canadian. And um, we can only voice our opinion about it. We can't just vote for it. Um, Americans t- could go to the uh, could go to the ballot box and vote into your next uh, election person. Biden, yeah, and I mentioned this. This is a, this is a, a, almost a week ago that he did a press conference, and uh, he's he's a little bit okay, okay in the in the situation that he is. Um, but due to the uh, pandemic, as everybody would say, uh, there's no audience there. There's no crowds in front of them, behind them. Uh, not having a sign saying Joe Biden or saying, you know, four more years kind of thing, a chance. Um, you know, I always, I'm laughing because these crowds are big crowds at these uh, rallies, uh, these Biden, these Donald Trump rallies, and they like to tell, tell the, uh, uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump if it's four more years or if it's going to be Trump four more years or is it going to be a Biden? Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, people that are going to be there, they're going to have had their big sign, big signage from the, all the way from the back of the podium to all the way in front of the podiums. Um, you'll see them on the TV cameras, um, and yeah, they're going to they're going to say it loud and proud, folks. They're going to have a cheering crowd there. Um, is it four more years for Donald Trump, or is it uh, Biden wants to get in, and we'll just see how he does? My my impression is to Joe Biden is still, still a uh, 50-50 chance he's going to win. Um, but there's going to be surprises along the way, everybody. There's going to be surprises. You uh, Trust me, and I'm not just uh, speaking for the left people. Uh, and uh, Black Lives Matter, and I get it, I get it. These people, <laughs> they're in the protesting going on. Uh, all lives matter, right? mentioned that for a lot of people. It's all lives down. It's just for the black people. It's for everybody else that's around. You can't single out everybody. You just can't single out everybody. And uh, you guys will wait. Uh, we're going to hear the numbers between now and November. And uh, I'm just saying the numbers either go down or up for Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> crowd's going to say four more years in that shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, or Biden, if you want to go with Biden, there's a few people who are still uh, undecided. They always call it the undecided people. Um, but yeah, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And we don't have anybody else who's going to be in the, uh, <laughs> who's going to be up there in the election. Um, as you know, as you know, I'll be touting everything out there. I'll be touting everything. Uh, don't you get me, uh, so until November, we're going to hold these, uh, uh, these people in Washington, D.C., in Capitol Hill, accountable, just like everybody else would say. Uh, so, bear in mind, Donald Trump, do you want Donald Trump to be in there for four more years, just like Barack Obama? That would be eight years in total if he, if he wins this one. Uh, that would be in the presidency. And uh, the Oval Office, they would call the Oval Office the White House, whatever you call it. Um, 
but there's a tell-all book will kind of, uh, how do you say, uh, halted everything. Because there's a tell book out there, um, and we're a little cautious about this. This book will t be t told all about the Trump, the guy in the Oval Office, and exposing, uh, in the real world, they would call it exposing someone. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, anyway, not to be a, exactly, so I'm going to toot my little horn here, folks, and I'm going to tell what I need to say. I'm going to get you guys involved out there on my YouTube channel, and hopefully uh, hit that like button, and I'm going to say time and time again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want, you don't have to. There's options. And, and um, I just want to say it's going to be a great election cycle. It's going to be fierce. It's going to be very fierce with the crowds. Uh, but we have to see when this uh, this pandemic is going to end. It is questionable due to the, uh, the Joe Biden or Donald Trump. I don't know how they're going to do this with no crowds being there. Um, uh, so you're going to, you're going to, they're going to show it on CNN or on YouTube videos with live streaming going on. Yeah. And you'll hear the crowds in the background uh, on the audio portion. They'll be saying either Black Lives Matter or they'll be saying four more years of Donald Trump. Or they'll be saying, okay, um, all sorts of things. Um, this past Monday, this past Monday, when you had people, Live Aid concert from Bob Gildoff, who's still around to this day, thank the Lord above, he's still around today. He was the guy who got started on the Live Aid concert 35 years ago, past Monday. Um, so 35 years, Live Aid concert, Live Aid 8, 2005. These were big charity events, uh, big concert charity events. And uh, the whole thing of that is donations. They need donations, as, like, like they said on social media. Uh, they give to charity. The charity goes to uh, whatever charity they need to go to. But in 85, it was like the who's who was going to be showed up. Um, every, every, uh, every singer songwriter was going to be there and tribute their time to put their songs out there and the who is who at the time these were uh, these are known singer songwriters out there in the world um and they all showed up due to this uh, they showed up to this charity event and it was at wembley stadium all stadiums around the world wembley stadium big stadium if you saw it on tv and uh it takes it takes uh, almost two football fields to see this place yeah, but anyway, I just want to say to you guys, hope you're having a good week. I sure am. I'm just delighted. <laughs> another week, another another wrestling show. Uh, tonight is going to be the SmackDown show. Hope you like it. I hope you get it. We got a Randy Orton and a uh, whole bunch of things. Uh, Drew McIntyre and you got Dobb Ziggler. You got all these sort of people um, for the next pay per view. That pay per view will be on this Sunday. If you're if you're a client, if you're a wrestling fan like anybody else is a wrestling fan these days, um, the current roster uh, it's still going. Uh, if you're a Hulk Hogan fan, he left the wrestling world. I kid you not. He left the wrestling world very early in the 2000s. Um, so yeah, no Hulk Hogan. But I've got to tell you, this wrestling year is going to be a greatest year ever on record. And uh, why am I raising my voice? Because you guys got to hear me out there. And uh, I just want to—I just want to make this public out there, just like everybody else would say. I want to make this public and information that would you guys would be appreciated. And uh, one other thing, one other thing. Um, I love these First Amendment auditors or auditors, the video, video vloggers, or what do they call themselves? Anyway, I'm going to tell what I need to say here, folks. Madonna, she's still around. The singer Madonna, she's still around. Singer songwriter. As, he, as she's dubbed as, uh, she's been in this world for three decades, three solid decades of music, three solid decades of music, tons of albums uh, to date. Um, she's known as Material Girl, few names, but she's around today. The latest, uh, the, actually, uh, the last album that she put out was a not so good, not so good album. It, uh, people didn't really like it so much, so it kind of sounded so-so. Uh, it was kind of like a letdown, if you were to ask. Um, the music video that she had out was so-so, was a bit so-so. Um, but yeah, if you're a Madonna fan, 
please enjoy her music. Uh, no matter what the form, no matter what song she's touting. Uh, but anyway, yes, um, there's a lot of people who are alive today uh, that we'd be blessed for. We don't want we don't want to bless the people that are dead, like the dead of dead. Um, and uh, yeah, so folks, if you enjoyed this podcast like I enjoyed this podcast, please hit that like button. I'm gonna say it just like any YouTuber out there, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's an option. I'll give you guys an option: either hit that like button or subscribe to my YouTube channel. An option. I give people options. And you don't have to like it if you don't. Anyway, I want to say I'll leave you guys with a uh, good note, and I'll say, hey, joy out there. The pandemic's still out there. You guys uh, heard about it on TV and news and radio stations. Wear the mask and uh, here to the here to the health people. And uh, yeah, the mask will be around for quite a while. At first, when I tried it, I couldn't breathe on these damn things. Uh, I was like he- uh, hepavalent or something. So the first time I tried these masks, I didn't like them. I really didn't like them. But I sort of got used to it after a while. So that's my opinion on the mask issue. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't breathe in them. It's like I was going to suffocate these things. Uh, masks. So uh, I don't know. The people today are sort of getting used to it. But uh, you can, there's other masks out there that would uh, uh, be a breathable. They call it breathable masks. Uh, but anyway, I want to say that Agenda 21, oh, before I say, before I talk about everything else, I want to talk about this Agenda 21. Now, on the surface, as they would say, in the world, 100 and, uh, was it, 79 uh, countries sign on to this. This is Agenda, according to them, Agenda 21. Uh, now, there's a booklet about this. People say, is this a booklet? There's a booklet out there about the cities and the uh, the states, as I'm talking about the United States, the cities and the states. Uh, there's Agenda 21. Now, if it's if it's initiated, this would actually happen. I would say either next year or this year. You'll see it in the cities and the streets and the uh, economy as it is today. So this so-called Agenda 21. Back in the early 90s, there was a lot of leaders around table. It's like a round table sort of thing. Uh, butt heads, as they say, but or not really butt heads <laughs> per se, but they uh, had this agenda, hidden agenda. Remember, it's a hidden agenda, and they talked about what's going to happen in the future. And uh, this is talks about you and I and the cities and the states. Um, and there's a few videos on YouTube that will talk about all this Agenda 21. Now, I know it's hypocrisy, and you might say it's conspiracy, all written over it. Yes, it is. That's why it's called Agenda 21. Um, I would highly recommend it if you guys go on YouTube and go check it out. Just type in Agenda 21. You'll see a few videos. I'm going to tout it out there for you people out there. I'm going to put it in titling. Uh, Agenda 21. Uh, this is from the United States area. Um, is these things happening around the world? You go check it out. If you want to go to tutorials, go, just type in Agenda 21 tutorials. And there was a lady out there who was a big advocate, as they say, about the Agenda 21. Uh, she goes in great detail what Agenda 21 was all about. Maybe Agenda 2030. We're not there yet. Agenda 21 next year. Yeah. And um, I just want to say to you guys, this has been a great day, great year. Thank you very much. Thank you for my platform. This is a platform, by the way. And I'm going to give my, I'm going to lend my voice to you guys out there to listen to what I got to say. And I'll make sure this sounds really good. I'll EQ it, uh, or as they call it, sound, EQing it. Um, and I'll give you guys a benefit of the doubt to listen to me in stereo, not mono, stereo. And, um, uh, I'll, I'll let you there. I'll let you guys go there. Don't forget PlayStation Five. Yes, gaming consoles. Almost forgot about the gaming consoles in the world. This last last one going to come up this year or next year. The last gaming console this coming year, PlayStation Five. Now the uh, the company <laughs> Sony is telling that this might be the last gaming console in the future. This is fifth generation. It's sort of like the fifth generation without every everything. This is going to have the best 
features. That's the video portion of it. And the video games are going to be great. Just great. 100% great. New console coming out. The, this is going to be the fifth gaming console on the so Sony's uh, gaming consoles. Ever since, I think, um, I'll give you guys an estimate from since, uh, since the mid-90s. This is going to be the fifth one. And apparently, this might be the last one for Sony to ever come out with one. We don't know for sure, but that's what they're uh, telling all the gaming console people out there. They showed the hardware, they showed the hardware, the gaming, the game stuff, the video games, and the graphics look great, folks. They were reviewing this as great. Good evening to the council member. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to tell my, I'm going to say good night, everybody. See you guys on the next podcast, my Dave show. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much.